Welcome to Home with Simone. My name is Simone and a huge thank you to each and every single one of you that continuously supports my channel. Today's video, guys, is about shapewear. Yes, we all know when losing weight, our body does change. And right now I am in this real awkward in-between stage where my body is a little bit softer and a little jiggly, I should say. And you know, sometimes when you put on certain items of clothing, it doesn't fall as flattering because of the drastic changes that your body is going through. So I did a little bit of research and I found this company. It was on Instagram and TikTok about this particular shapewear and how amazing it is. So I took a chance and I haven't worn shapewear in quite a few years. I took a chance and I purchased two pieces from the company. So the first item I purchased is called the Air Slim Bone Sculpted High Waist Shorts. It is firm support, comes in two colors, black and beige. I got mine in black in a size large and it was $83. If I'm looking at getting things that is for an average torso, for me, it's very long. It either comes really high up under my bust line or it goes really low and stops in a very awkward spot. And these were some of the hindrances for me when it came to shapewear because I felt like I've been there, I've done that, and I'm over it. But with my weight loss, needing a little bit more support, helping me with feeling more confident in my clothes as well, I decided to go ahead and get myself a couple pieces. I will definitely be ordering some more. The shapewear I have on right now I love the way that I look in this dress. It creates a really nice hourglass, I would say, shape. Um, I'm, not, I'm not straight, but I'm not very curvy to look at, depending on what I wear. I know how to manipulate my clothing to give my body the illusion of it being super curvy. But it's nice to have a shape where that really does kind of cinch you in where you need to be cinched in and then accentuates where you want to be accentuated. And I think this does this beautifully. I've had it on for, let me see, the package came earlier on, I would say about six or seven hours. So I've been wearing this for about six or seven hours. Really comfortable. I work from home. I've been sitting quite a bit in it and nothing is digging or tightening or feeling uncomfortable. So are you guys ready to see what it looks like on its own? Before I do that, I'll do a 360 and show you how I look from all angles in this dress. And the thing about the shapewear, it doesn't necessarily, I think sometimes when we think of shapewear, we have the most unrealistic expectations where we just expect everything to be flat and smooth. It doesn't do that. What it does is it kind of, holds everything together so that your clothing lands on your body in a flattering way. It, it really does kind of bring it in and holds it. It's not like, you know, I'm going to go from being a size 12 to a size 5. Like that's not a realistic expectation with shapewear. And if you do that, it's probably not healthy for your internal organs to be squished that drastically. I'm happy with taking things slow. I'm happy with being realistic. Yes, you can still see there's a belly hair. I got to work on this. You know, you can still see it. It's just that it's not like jiggly or, you know, it doesn't feel uncomfortable. And I think it looks a lot more flattering when it, my body does have the extra support. So let's have a look at what I look like just in the shapewear on its own. This is what the shapewear looks like on its own. Now, I am wearing a little bit of like, a, I don't know, a crop top sort of kind of because modesty reasons. I don't want to be standing here in my bra, but um, it does cut off right where my bra ends. So it can give you guys the full view of how the shapewear fits me. I love this. It feels so good. I'm probably going to say this the whole video, um, but I am going to give it a fair and honest trial for the week by Friday. Let's see how I feel. Let's see if I like it. Let's see if it still gives the same support. You know, because you can get this on day one, everything's good to go. And then by day three, you're like, nope, waste of money, right? So I'm going to give it a fair shot. This today's reaction is based off of just how I feel in it today. 
I don't know what's gonna happen a week from now. But so far, I'm very happy with it. I think it fits in a very flattering way. There's none of that big, heavy boning that digs into you and makes it uncomfortable and painful. Uh, I love that the fabric allows for the body parts that need to breathe to breathe. And it also does add a bit of support to the bum area. There is, and I'll show you guys, like I'll insert pictures and stuff throughout this entire video so you can see just on the bottom here, there's a little bit of support for your bum area and then on the top part of it as well. And it does cinch in really nicely and creates that waist. And then it brings up into the smallest part of your body and accentuates, again, the parts that you want to be accentuated. So I really do love how this feels. It fits really good. I feel super confident in it. And I'm definitely going to try a couple more of their items from um, the site. When I tried this on with a lighter fabric or something that was a lot tighter, because of these latches here, these, these uh, clasp here, it prints out in the clothing. Now, for some people, they don't care. Others, this is something to keep in mind because it could take away from the outfit. It's obvious there's something underneath it. So in a situation like that, I would say this would be best with thicker materials, but if you just don't care, then it is what it is. There is a couple other pieces they have that don't have the this part open like this is actually a zipper, which does make a huge difference. So I'm gonna look into those and see if I like how they feel. But I love how it comes up. It doesn't fold over. Like I said, I've been wearing this for like six hours and it didn't flip over on me, not once, with me sitting and standing and moving around. The other thing too is my thigh areas, I actually have like a little bit of a thigh gap. My thighs is the nemesis of my body during my weight loss. I just, that is my problem issue. That is the area that I have like the most problems with when I look at myself because I'm used to my legs being nice and firm and solid. And now my thighs are not looking like that anymore. So when I put this on, it really does help me feel a lot better with how I look and uh, you know, keep me on the right track. We all gonna have that body part. Some people, it will be your bum, some your breasts, some your arms, some your back, your stomach. For me, it's my thighs. This is the reality of it. You lose weight and it's not a pretty thing. Your body does whatever it does in the process of losing it. I did it to myself. I'm recreating this body and I have to go through this awkward and comfortable stage to get to the outcome that I want and I'm willing to accept that. So this is just part of the journey. I'm not letting it hold me back, but the reality is I'm not gonna stand here and say everything is pretty and I'm losing everything great and I'm loving how I look and all. No, no, no. I look in the mirror and I'm like, these thighs need help, right? So just being honest <laughs> along my journey and it's not negative, it's honesty. This is what a lot of us are going through, male or female, we're going through looking at our bodies and nitpicking at different things that make us uncomfortable throughout our journey and it's completely natural and normal just don't fixate on it don't let it get to the point of where you now sabotage yourself right you want to see it and say okay how can i fix this what can i do and work towards that so giving yourself some really good goals to get your body where you want it to be in a healthy safe way the other thing i love is you see these I don't know what's on it. I'll get a close up, but on the bottom of it, there's like a bit of, I don't know. I don't want to say it's a sticky, but I, I guess like a bit of elastic. And you know how a lot of times you see um, shorts or, you know, support wear or anything like that. And they'll say, oh, it doesn't move. And you put it on and it's rolling up. I swear, I swear, I swear. This hasn't moved except for what I just did when I flipped it over sitting, standing, walking around. It doesn't go anywhere. It is so comfortable and I love that it just sits right there. So if you're wearing a dress, you're not like pulling down every minute because it's rolling up and squeezing and feeling uncomfortable. So I'm really happy with this. I, I know I kind of rambled a little bit, but hopefully, you know, <laughs> you guys get the excitement because for me, this is the halfway point of my weight loss journey. 
And the other thing I want to suggest though is that the bra that I'm wearing, it's an older bra, it doesn't give me a lot of support because my breast has also changed and the distance around my um, bust area here. So this bra is not offering the best support, but let's use our imaginations. If I was wearing one that actually supported me, this is what it would look like. So it does make a bit of a difference. I don't know if you can see. It does make a bit of a difference if you have a bra that is giving you the right support. It will help with the way the rest of your body is looking. So shapewear on its own, it'll help a bit, but just make sure all of your undergarments are, you know, fitting you properly so that everything is working together. Also your underwear, I would not recommend wearing like a low rise or anything like that because I feel like that would definitely affect the overall look. Maybe wear an underwear that's a little bit on the higher side so that you have more of a smoother finished look would come in handy. Speaking of underwear, so they actually have. And I got this one. Now I'm gonna be honest. I I kind of panicked when I opened this because I could have sworn I clicked on the button for the full brief a million times before I hit complete my order. And then I got a thong. So I haven't worn a thong in decades. My bum is just, it's too big. It's not flattering. It, it, everything's moving and jiggling. And listen, to each their own, some people like that. I don't like to be walking and everything's just bouncing all over the place. I just prefer things to be a little bit kept, a little bit more confined. <laughs> Nothing against those that don't mind, good for you. But for me, I do like things to fit me in a more uh, modest manner. So... I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. I'll try it on and see. Maybe I'll wear it with pants if it doesn't look appropriate to me with dresses. Or I can possibly even wear it underneath this just for a little extra support. But I haven't tried this on as yet. It is, I believe it's a mid-compression to be honest. I will look up, like I said, you guys will see throughout this entire video the different um, specs and whatnot for the underwears I'll have the names and those things up there as well and I may just kind of do a little voice over for that section as well but you can see it has really good compression and it's soft so you know for those days that I don't feel like wearing something like this the underwear definitely is something that I would give a good go uh, let me come closer so you can see where some of the support is so it has support only in the areas that needs it. And this is a difference between some of the ones they had in the past and the ones they have now. Like the crotch area is breathable. Under the belly area is breathable. You can see the material is different. It's a lot thinner and it is a lot easier on your body. You're not going to be sweaty and itchy and these things. However, the problem areas or the areas that you want supported, that has that real nice firm uh, material so and the good thing about this which i thought was kind of cool is it's made from recycled fabric so i think that's really nice it's always nice to be able to take care of our little home we call earth it says that global recycle standards this product contains 60 percent grs certified recycled poly made certified by usb certification and it has the text information and i also really like the tags i think they're cute i love the color of it it's very natural and neutral and it does kind of make sense considering they're using recycled material but if you look at the first one they have their logo and then they have the name of the company there i don't know if it's picking up on camera and then when we come on the other side, it has the return policy. This is so tastefully done. So returns will only be accepted if all the tags remain attached. This is always something that I look for because when you're dealing with, you know, clothing that touches your private areas, if a company has a return policy and they're just taking things back and reselling it, the hygiene is to be questioned <laughs> in regards to those garments. So it's always nice to see when it's says it right on the garment you need to make sure that tags are on and you haven't worn it in order for it to be returned 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm super excited to start really sculpting my body, continuing to work on my weight loss goals, and I can't wait to show you my true body reveal when I get to that point. So I got a couple more pounds to lose before I get there, but guys, we're halfway there, and I can't wait to show you the final results. I'll see you all in my very next video.